We're not quite done yet, but right, driving around, you do actually want to take it slow, especially in the dark, and you never want to drive over a water covered roadway. Our weather watchers are tracking the big swing in temperature. Look to the north. We have 65 degrees from Linda with rain in Lake Villa. It's still raining there. Then when we look south, it's 83 degrees from Michelle in Kankakee. And I think all of us caught a glimpse of some kind of threatening cloud today from the West Loop. Michael Lyons sharing that eerie picture for us. Some impressive rains, mainly focusing on the Rockford area so far. Four and a half inches in Rockford. In Capron and Boone County, 3.74. Roscoe, almost three and a half. Winnebago, heavy rain. Waukegan, 1.79 inches. While our heat wave is over, I just wanted to show you that today was our hottest day of the three. 95 degrees. The record, though, 98. So we didn't break a record. We will have slow moving showers and storms overnight. Again, training storms certainly possible, increasing that flood risk. As we time it out, look at 2 a.m. Heavy clusters keep coming at us. Even at 6 a.m., it may be wet for the morning rush. And then by noon, the heat of the day refires more storms. That's because the stationary front is going to be stuck across our state. You can see that we have clusters of storms south of Rockford drifting east. Down near Kankakee, we have a lot of lightning reported as storms are just inching eastward through immense Cedar Creek. Up to the north, it's lighter rains for the North Shore, but we're not done yet because these western ones moving into DeKalb County showing heavy rain and also a lot of lightning with those. While the front is going to be laying around during the day tomorrow and into Wednesday, cool air north of it, humid air south of it, instability along it. And rainfall estimates here right through Wednesday night could be 3.9 additional inches perhaps along the Wisconsin border. So we're going to have to watch for that. So clusters of showers and storms overnight, gusty winds about 67 for the low, but warmer south of I-80. Tomorrow passing storms, I'm putting 80 on the map, but it will be noticeably cooler along the lakefront. I think temperatures for the North Shore will be around 67 in Zion, 72 Chicago, 85 in Kankakee. So with that stationary front hanging around, we're going to keep that rain chance in for a couple of days. Little break perhaps Thursday, but notice Robin Erica, what is gone? The 90s mm. off the map. I welcome that. <laughs> okay, thank you Mary Kay.